Hey, this is good to uh, see you today. Actually, I don't see you, but you see me. That might not be so good. Here we are. We're in Psalm chapter 80 today, reading out of the New King James Version of the Bible. <clears throat> Starting in verse 1, it says, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel. You who lead Joseph like a flock, you who dwell between the cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come and save us. Restore us, O God, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in great measure. You've made us a strife to our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Restore us, O God of hosts, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. You've brought a vine out of Egypt. You've cast out the nations and planted it. You've prepared room for it and caused it to take deep root, that it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow and the mighty cedars with its boughs. She sent out her boughs to the sea and her branches to the river. Why have you broken down her hedges? So that all who pass by the way pluck her fruit. The boar out of the woods uproots it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see and visit this vine. And the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. It's burned with fire, it's cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand upon the Son of Man, whom you have made strong for yourself. <clears throat> then we will not turn back from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Continuing tragedy of what happens to a nation whose God is the Lord, and then who turns on the Lord who is their God. I'm amazed as I read this, when I get to, I mean, really, it's I'm just going to, let me comment on the whole thing. Why have you broken down, verse 12, why have you broken down our hedges? Why have you done this, Lord? I try to say this the last couple of, uh, of, of times I've been talking, is that it's not really God's doing. It's, it's our doing. So many times we get into situations and we wonder, God, why am I in this mess? Because you got into the mess. I've learned that when you point a finger at somebody, you've got three pointing back at you. <clears throat> so many times when we point our finger at God and blame him for our mess or for our confusion or for whatever is going on, we have to realize that there are many more chances that it's, that it's us. We're the cause. <clears throat> Other than that, we don't realize enough that we, we have an enemy, someone who hates us, who wants our marriages to fail, who wants our finances to fail, who wants us to be poor and look bad and bring a reproach to the name of God because we don't serve Him and everything's going wrong with us and our lives are falling apart and our kids are serving the enemy. And <clears throat> Come on. Why have you done it, O oh Lord? No. What have we done, O oh Lord, to make this mess? Help us out of it. But He calls throughout here, Lord, restore us. Verse 3, restore us, O oh God. Save us, verse 2. Father, come and help us. Change us. Move in us. Talks about how great it once was and how bad it actually is now. Visit us, Lord. Look down from heaven. Let your hand be upon us. Restore us. Revive us, verse 18, verse 19. 
I want to pray with you today. I just feel led to pray. with. So would you just allow me to pray for you today? Father, <clears throat> I pray for the individuals who are watching this uh, video log. And I ask you in the name of Jesus, by the power of your spirit, that you would touch their lives right now. Let them experience your love and your mercy and your grace. I thank you, Father, and I pray your blessing upon them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.